Good morning, Quadcopter101 here. And today's shout out goes to Jorgen Lillian. Jorgen was first to say first in one of my recent videos, and thus wins this shout out. So, congratulations. Good morning, Quadcopter101 here, and welcome to this review of the Holy Stone HS430 Mini Drum. Now, what is the little mini drum? It is a tiny little thing, folks. Look at this thing. It's cute. <laughs> it folds in the palm of your hand. But it's also a folding drum that you can open up like so and uh, take with you just about anywhere. Easily carried in your pocket, both the, the drone and the controller. But uh, you know, take it with you to school or wherever you can fly this. <laughs> They're allowed to fly it. Now, this is not a high-performance drone by any means, folks. This, again, as some of my other videos, a lot of, actually most of my videos, are beginner's drones, okay? These are beginner learn-to-fly drones that help uh, people enter into the hobby, folks, um, without spending $1,000 on an expensive drone that you're probably going to crash because everybody crashes, okay? And you don't want to crash a $1,000 drone. Uh, I recommend starting off with these cheap toy drones just to learn the basics of how to use that controller and how to maintain orientation on this drone and fly this drone manually using that controller. With those skills, folks, you'll save yourself a lot of headache and heartache um, when you finally get yourself a good drone, you know, the, the high quality drones with the, the 4K cameras, the true 4K cameras, you'll save yourself a lot of heartache uh, from crashing that. Uh, I know there's a lot of folks out there that will say, oh, no, you can start with this $1,000 uh, whatever model they, they, they start it with. But uh, to tell you the truth, folks, there's a lot of those folks are exaggerating a bit. I'm sure most of them had a crash or two with their drone. <laughs> And you don't want to do that with an expensive drone. You can do that with this, no problem, okay? You crash this or lose this, you're not out of a ton of money, uh, but you are going to learn important skills that you'll need to fly those better drones. Now, uh, another thing, the cameras on these toy drones are not cinematic by any means, you know. They are very basic, and that, you know, that that's because the cost of the drone is going to be under $50, usually for these toy drones. And... Um, just don't expect to get yourself a super good camera at that price range, okay? Just, you know, let's set the uh, realistic expectations before we go further with this uh, review. Okay, what's special about this drone? Why was I interested in this particular drone? Uh, this drone has a relatively nice camera, okay? It's, you know, it's again, it's not cinematic camera, but it is actual, an actual 1080p camera. Uh, you know, 1080p resolution, which isn't too bad. That's full um, HD camera. However... The frame rate on this camera is only 20 frames per second. So, you know, it's it's not going to be a real smooth video by any means, but we'll see that. Additionally, the lens on this camera, um, you know, it's um, not really widescreen. It's a bit zoomed in, especially for FPV flying, so it, it might be a little difficult for people to actually fly FPV with the camera. But again, it doesn't look too bad, not too shabby when you go flying with this. You get nice video of your neighborhood, in other words, with this particular camera. Now, again, uh, one other thing about that camera, there is no SD card slot to record the videos. The video is recorded directly to your phone using the app, and I'll go over that shortly. Okay, other things about this particular drone is that it has brushed motors. Okay, these will eventually fail with time. Okay, hopefully... You'll be have you know you'll have enough flight time with this, enough skill developed to trans transition to those those better drones. You know you're not going to want to be flying this forever, folks. You're going to get bored of this eventually, and you're going to want to transition to those better drones. Uh, but hopefully these uh, brushed motors will last long enough for you to do such. Okay, to develop those skills before you do transition. Other things about it, it is powered by a tiny three points. Or actually, was it three point seven volt? Um, yes, yeah, 3.7 volt, 730 milliamp per hour battery. I don't know if that's coming in or not, folks. Probably not, but I'll describe the battery. It's modular battery, um, and it is charged through this micro USB port here. Now, I do not recommend using a USB uh, cable to charge this, a, you know, a standard phone charging cable. This comes with its own charging cable. And this charging cable has a built-in voltage limiter on it, okay, that detects when this battery is fully charged and it'll stop the charging. Uh, so if you try to use a 
uh, micro USB cables such as for your phone for charging your phone there is a possibility of you overcharging this battery and, and damaging the battery or even charging a fire so do not do such always use the provided charger that comes with this to charge this battery now with that in mind uh, this little battery here is only 750 milliamp per hour you can probably charge this in the U using the USB port of your computer or you can use a 2 amp wall charger and charge it much more quickly <laughs> so I recommend using a wall charger with this um, one other thing this is advertised with uh, three batteries mine only came with two and my sponsor says this only has two batteries um, if the, you know if it's true about three batteries I'll I'll post it here you know what the truth is because my my sponsor is supposed to get back to me another thing it's claiming that with this battery that you could get 39 minutes of flight time. I believe that refers to the three battery version and uh, and that's additive. In other words, 13 minutes per battery. And even that, I'm thinking that's probably way too much too, okay? This little 750 milliamp per hour battery, I'm guessing will give us about 10 minutes of flight time. We'll see if we actually get a full 13 minutes. But by no means is this thing going to give us 39 minutes like I'm seeing advertised. Uh, that's just not right. <laughs> it's not, there's no way one of these is going to fly. This, this drone is going to fly on one battery for 39 minutes. I think they're, that's additive for the three battery version that's out there. Um, other things about it. It has altitude hold, which means this will automatically maintain an altitude. Uh, you don't have to mess around with the throttle stick too much to adjust that altitude. But even with the altitude hold drones, I've noticed they tend to drift a bit. So you might, you will have to do some adjustment of the throttle to maintain altitude. Um, but another thing, this does not have optical flow either. Okay, I was hoping it might have optical flow camera on the bottom. Usually those optical flow drones uh, will automatically hover in place, okay, horizontally uh, using the optical flow sensor. But this does not have it. So uh, you are going to manually need to maintain the drone's position using that controller. And that's a good thing, folks. You're going to learn to use those important skills that I was talking about of controlling a drone. Okay, uh, it would be even greater, better if this did not have altitude hold. <laughs> that, that would teach you the skills to maintain throttle control, and the folks that are able to do that are able to transition to FPV uh, racers. <laughs> but I'm not, I'm not seeing those anymore in the toy drones. Just about every toy drone I've been seeing these days are, are altitude hold drones, and that's kind of a shame that that's gone away. Um, but that's the way it is. Okay, uh, other things this drone is able to do. It has a headless mode capability, which means you can, if you turn on the headless mode, it doesn't matter which way this drone is pointed. Uh, uh, the direction will always be the same. And I'm going to demonstrate how headless mode works when we go fly this in the basement downstairs. It also has flip capability. You press a button on the controller, and I'll show you which button here shortly. And then you can tell the drone which direction to flip. It'll actually do automatic flips. So that will impress your friends, <laughs> being able to do flips. It also has trajectory control through the uh, app. And trajectory control is a, a rudimentary um, waypoints uh, feature. Um, it's not really usable in most of the drones that I've seen, the toy drones that have tra trajectory. You know, you draw a line on your screen, and the drone is going to fly in that general direction for a, a limited amount of time. And I'll try to demonstra demonstrate that too if I remember actually. Other things it has, it has stunt modes like spin, where it'll spin around automatically by pressing a button. And also a circle fly mode where it goes around in, in a circle like such, which is pr pretty cool. It's like a circle me, uh, a toy drone circle me. You'll see it's, it's usually a really uh, narrow circle, but still pretty cool for stunt, stunt ability on this drone. Um, let's see other things about it. Oh yeah, it has a throw to go. I like throw to go where you can hold the drone and just toss it and it will automatically take to the air. Um, we'll demonstrate that too outside mostly <laughs> when we go flying. But a throw to go is neat. I like that feature in these toy drones. Okay, I mentioned the 1080p camera but uh, and I mentioned the video from it going to your phone but it does that. That FPV video goes to your phone over 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. So that means that this drone will work with most phones, folks. You know, you don't have to worry about that 802.11 AC. This will work with most phones because it's using that 2.4 gigahertz basic uh, Wi-Fi. However, 
uh, your controller is also operating on 2.4 gigahertz. So there's going to be some interference between the two. And what that does is, folks, is that limits the maximum range of that FPV video to about, uh, I don't know, 40, 50 meters will be about the maximum distance you'll go, be able to go with this before the video will freeze or get choppy, unfortunately. But again, this is a toy drone, and this toy drone here, you don't want to go more than 40, 50 meters because this, this thing's so tiny, it's going to become a speck in the sky very rapidly as you fly away. So um, you might want to limit flying out to 40 meters with this drone is what I'm trying to say. Okay, now the app that this uses is called the Holy Stone FPV app, Holy Stone Dash FPV app, available in Google Play and on the App Store and again, with that, that gives you the ability to uh, record video and record photos to your phone and also do some of the, uh, there's some advanced features, uh, I, like there's a voice control, you know, you know some gee whiz features. Those don't normally work very well, uh, but you want to focus on the main features that, I, that this has, like I mentioned, um, the, the main stunt features. Um, of uh, flip, and traje not trajectory, spin, circle fly, th things like that other than the app features. The app features tend to be a little bit glitchy, I've, I've found, with these toy drones. Okay, let's go over uh, the controller real quick. The controller, like I said, uh, you're going, can cause interference with the drone. And notice that the drone's FPV signal is also going to cause interference with the controller. So the max control range with this particular drone, when using FPV video, is probably going to also be limited to uh, under 100 meters, but you're not going to be able to see that again. As like I said, that drone is going to become invisible about 60 meters. So it's so tiny. But let's go over the controllers on this. Notice that it has a scroll wheel on the top, but this scroll wheel is glued solid shut. You know, you can't move it. So uh, this is for a future implementation. It's not for this drone, this scroll wheel. It has no, no uh, function. Um, we have photo and video button right here. A uh, quick press, it takes a photo. A long press, it starts and stops the video. This button is for the spin feature. A uh, quick press does the spin feature. And a long press activates the circle fly feature on the drone. This is for automatic takeoff and automatic landing. And if you hold it down, it's also automatic stop. This one here is for headless mode with a quick press. And a long press, it enters into trim mode where you can adjust the trim on the uh, drone if it's drifting and I'll try to demonstrate that too when we go down into the uh, my indoor flight test facility. Now an unlabeled button is this right stick, the pitch roll stick. Pressing into it activates the flip feature and then you can tell which direction to flip by moving the stick up, down, or left, right and the drone will do a flip press by pressing into this button here. Okay, And this stick is just your throttle and your yaw control. And that is the controller. And also we have low rate and high rate. This is low speed for beginners. And if it's a windy day and you're, you're, you need to go a little bit faster to fight that wind, uh, you put it into high speed just by sliding the button to the right. And it is powered by three AAA batteries. And these are high quality AAA batteries from my local Dollar Tree. <laughs> okay, what do you get in the package, folks? You get a nice intro to lipo batteries this thing here i recommend reading this if you're not familiar with lipo batteries and uh there, there are some things you need to know about lipo batteries because they can be dangerous if you're if not used properly so i recommend reading this entirely uh but if you're like i said if you're unfamiliar with lipos you also get an instruction manual in many different languages uh it's, well, I guess that's German. I, I'm not sure what that one is. And it's English. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, just about quite a few languages are in here. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just three. Uh, is that Chinese, uh, German, and uh, English? Okay, so English, Chinese, yeah. English, German, and I'm pretty sure that's probably Chinese. So, <laughs> that's what in the instruction manual. It is a good instruction manual. Again, I recommend reading that one too entirely. And also you get the drone, you get the controller, you get the battery charger, and you get two or three batteries. Again, my sponsor is getting back to me. I I don't know right now what the actual batteries are. I, I got two. My sponsor says it comes with two, but the ad says three. I'll, again, put it right here, how many batteries you actually get with this particular drone. So that is the HS430. 
Let's take this down into my uh, flight test facility, my indoor flight test facility, see how it flies. And following that, if it flies nicely and I think it has the ability, we'll take it outdoors also. So, hope you enjoy these flights. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the Quadcopter 101 Indoor Flight Test Facility for the test flight of the Holystone HS430. Uh, notice I got green lights today. I thought I'd try green lights instead of the orange lights that you normally put up there. But uh, let's get this started. Okay, to start up the drone, there's an on-off switch on the bottom. I didn't show you that, folks. Oh, before we do, notice that I got prop guards installed. This drone does come with propeller guards. However, I recommend using these only indoors, folks. Do not keep them on outdoors because if you crash into a tree, your drone can become a Christmas tree ornament if you have them on outdoors, okay? So that's why I don't recommend them outdoors. Indoors, they're fine. So, okay? So to start this up, you press and hold the on-off switch like so. Oh, actually, you got to push the battery in all the way first, like it did there. And then you press and hold the on-off switch like so until it flashes once, and then you can put it on your landing pad or whatever you got for your your takeoff facility. <laughs> then turn on the transmitter and to connect this controller to the drone you need to move the stick up then down. That's the left throttle stick and now it is connected to the drone. Okay the next thing I need to do is open my phone's Wi-Fi settings and look for the drone's Wi-Fi signal and connect to that signal the same way that you would connect to your home Wi-Fi. No password is needed. Okay so hold on folks while I do that. Okay, this is the Holy Stone FPV app available in Google Play and iTunes. Oh, and by the way, folks, to activate this app, it says you need to uh, start an account. You really don't need to do that. Just enter in any fake email address, any fake password, and you'll be able to get into this account. I'm not really sure why they're asking for an email to, to this other than to maybe send you marketing emails. But, you know, I put in Mickey Moss at AOL.com. It worked just fine. Okay. Okay, before we take off, um, I recommend keeping the drone on a flat level surface and bringing both sticks down and to the right and holding them there for a few seconds until you hear that beep. And what that does, folks, is that calibrates the uh, gyroscope on board the drone to help hopefully uh, minimize the amount of drift, uh, minimize the amount of trim that we'll need to apply to the drone to get it in the air. Okay, I'm going to leave it in a low rate to take off. And to uh, actually take off, let's try that hand toss that this is supposed to be able to do. Okay. So I got, let me put the uh, camera up a little bit, hold it like so, hold it steady, and then hopefully all I need to do is toss it. And that's it. We're in the air. Okay, let's see the drift. It's climbing up a bit, and it's drifting back and to the left. So what I'm going to need to do, folks, is hold this button here, and keep pushing forward to the right. And hopefully that corrects the drift. Okay, hold the button down, push, push, push forward. And to the right. And that fixed it. Okay, so that is trimmed up and ready to go. Now the next thing I want to try is, before we do anything further, let's try these fancy features. This can do like a flip. Come up down a bit, flip. Whoa. Okay, it goes forward a bit. Let's go up a bit higher. Don't need as much real estate as I thought you did to do a flip. We'll try it again, forward flip. Okay, so those are the flips. The other thing I want to try is that rapid turning. Let's get it up there and press the rapid turn button. There's its spin feature, folks. It's spinning. Let's get closer to it so you can see it. Okay, spin feature off. Okay, next thing, let's try it. Go up a little bit higher. We're going to try that circle uh, spin. So there's a circle fly. Not too bad. <laughs> Automatic circle flying. <laughs> Automatic funnels. Turning that off. Okay, the next thing, let's try headless mode. Now, it was pointed in that direction when it took off, so I need to just press headless mode. Oh, that's not headless mode. What was that I pressed? Oh, I took a picture. <laughs> I haven't started recording yet, folks. Let's start the recorder. Okay, we're recording video now. So, with that in mind, let's pull it around, pull it back a bit. I say, how you like my shirt today, folks? <laughs> Binding it up a bit, or sinking it up a bit, and setting it out. Okay, uh, headless mode is this button, I believe. Is that headless mode? Yep, there we go, we're in headless mode now. Now if I push forward, that's always forward, even though the drone's pointed toward me. That's always forward, this is always back. 
And that's always right, and that's always left. So what I can do is actually I can pirouette the drone, bringing it toward me. I pirouette the drone <laughs> as it's flying around, using headless mode. Okay, coming back out of headless mode. Headless mode's off now. Okay, normal flying should be. So let's see how this handles. It's actually not too bad. This is manual uh, funnels. I was doing that manually by, uh, I'll show you. Let's bring it down, turn it around a bit. And what I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm gonna give it a little forward pitch and also I'm gonna turn it at the same time. See, so forward and up, and adjusting throttle to bring it back down again. So that's how you do a funnels manually. So actually, this feels to be a nice little flyer. I'm not going to put it in high rate and indoors because it seems to be zippy enough as it is in low rate. Whoa, 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 come back up there. Where those prop guards come into handy, yeah? <laughs> indoors, <laughs> and they do work. So. Oh no, it's not a bad little drone. It, actually, it's a nice flyer for a beginner fly, beginner pilots. And very, very responsive. Actually, nice flyer. I'd like to take this outdoors. See how it does outdoors next. And we will. And we will. Bring it up close, let you see it. Not a bad looking little drone either. Let's try that toss and fly again. Uh, we're going to do an automatic landing. Uh, where's that landing button? Okay. Bringing it over to where be and plopping it there. Let's see if it will take off again if, with a toss. Okay. No lights are flashing, right? No lights are flashing. So I like this hand tossing. They're fun. <laughs> hand toss launch. So. Yeah, this could be a great little drone for beginner pilots to learn on. Very responsive, very responsive. Nice turn on it, nice turn radius on it. Look at that, there's close in circles. And going the opposite direction. Flies very nicely as you can see here, folks. Nice little drone from Holy Stone. Holy Stone makes nice drones. I don't know if they make them or if they import them or what. <laughs> But the drones that they sell are usually very nice drones. Now it's wanting to land. So that's telling me we're getting close to uh, its flight time. Um, I don't really think you're going to get 39 minutes, no. And I'm not sure about 13 minutes either. We're going to find out, especially the way I'm flying it. <laughs> so um, maybe 13 minutes in a slow hover you can get it, but not like this. <laughs> so fun little drone. From Holy Stone. Look at those lights. They sh now, what they should have done is made those red and have them going back and forth. And maybe a little command saying, by our command. <laughs> Us old fogies will remember that. Younger folks, not so much. <laughs> uh, maybe a... I mean, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to stop right there. <laughs> Okay, just flying it around. Wacky right now, flying wacky with it. It's maneuverable. Uh-oh, there we go. I hit the ground there and its lights flashed for a bit. I'm not sure what that meant, but... Nice little drone. Nice little drone. Easy to fly once you trim it. Um, I showed you how to trim it again. Right now we got a bit of a forward drift. Let's try trimming it again and a left drift and going like this and back. Coming down a bit too. Too much throttle. Back, back. Okay, hold it right there. I'm not sure. I think we're getting close to the end of its flight time. It's starting to, starting to get a little bit sluggish. Let's put it back on the pad and try an automatic takeoff this time. Maybe I gotta start the motors first. Motors down and out, down and in. I think that might have been the battery. <laughs> Let's try one more time a hand toss, see if it's possible. Okay. Yeah, it's, its batteries are getting sluggish. It wants to land. I keep having to give it more and more throttle. So it's just about up. Although I'm not seeing any blinking lights. Normally you see a blinking light warning you 
that the battery is low, although I'm not seeing it. Although it seems to be landing. Okay, it's just hovering there. A little more throttle. Okay, apparently not. So we got more flight time. Okay, let's use it then. I'm not going to fly as wild as I was. Let's see if we get full 13 minutes of flight time. Hey, bringing it up to the camera and say, "Hi, Ma." <laughs> and syncing up the cameras too. It's recording. Um, even though I trimmed it, it's, it's moving around a bit because the air conditioner's on in the house right now. And I, I got the vent covered, but still air gets in here and blows around, blows it around. Uh, the, the secret of trimming, folks, is you don't want any air hitting it, okay? You want to have nice still air when you're trimming up a drone. And normally I can do that in my basement, but like I said, the air conditioner's on right now. It's a hot, muggy day outside. Soon to be a cold winter days here in Erie, PA. <laughs> I don't think we can do any more flips, but we'll try. Let's see. Coming down, Let's see if I'll do a flip. Ah, it still does a flip. But more, more or less those flips should be done outdoors, folks. So you'll get better results outdoors doing flips. You don't have to worry about hitting ceilings, and you can go high enough that you don't have to worry about hitting the floor. Whoa, what's it doing now? Not sure why it went down there. Um, as the battery gets lower, I'm noticing my, you know, notice it's going up and down quite a bit. Um, maybe it's because that air conditioner hit, blast of air hitting it, or it could be because maybe the uh, um, battery's getting lower. But by the way, looking at the camera on this, on my screen, really nice picture, I gotta say, of my hot tub there. <laughs> hot tub that I've never used. Let's get a picture of my, let's go over and look at my Tesla coils here that I still got sitting here from the past six months. <laughs> that's the capacitor on the left there and that's the Tesla coil in the center and actually I won an award for that when I was 17. <laughs> a long time ago and I just got spammed. <laughs> I got a spam email folks, sorry about that. I don't know what that was, but okay, we're just, I'm giving it more and more throttle to stay in the air, so yeah, we're getting close, and there goes the beep, 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 there, there's our warning, is the lights flashing, yep, they're, they're flashing, so that's the low battery warning, folks, when you hear that beep, 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 and the lights start to flash, okay, and again, as this battery power gets lower and lower, um, Less than less and less you can do. Actually, I don't think it can do any more flips. Let's try one more time. Try to do a flip. Nope, no flips. And it's going to land. It's trying to land. It's trying to land. It's trying to land. Let's go up higher. I'm going to keep giving it a throttle. To... No, no, that's it. That's its flight time. We're going to land it right there, folks. It's just bouncing off the ground. So. That is the indoor flight. Let me stop this video, make sure we got it. Holding the video button down. I took a snapshot. I don't want that. I want to save the recording. Quick shot. Okay, how about up here? There, that stopped it. <laughs> I had to do it using the app. And it keeps beeping, warning you that you have low battery. So, that's the indoor flight of... Here, let me sync this up for somehow. <laughs> that ain't going to work. <laughs> but uh, that's the indoor flight of the HS430. Let's take it outdoors now, folks, and see how it flies. So I hope you enjoy the second part of this flight. Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and welcome to the outdoor test flight of the HS430T. Okay, I have this already hooked up, connected to the Wi-Fi. I'm looking at the screen. Really nice picture, folks. This thing actually has a nice picture. But let's get it on the ground and get it in the air. So, uh, to do such... Let's put it down there. I already bound it to the controller. And um, let's see. Oh, actually, let's see if I, I tried to start it this way the other day. There. We, okay, let's see if we can do a manual takeoff with throttle. And there we go. Now I'm going to go into higher rate. We got a bit of a wind today. And I am going to start the video recording. Video should be recording. And let's show you this camera. Going up. 
and out. Show you the neighborhood with this camera. It's actually a nice camera, folks. I gotta admit on this little thing, for the price, <laughs> it is a nice camera. Now keep in mind, again, it's not cinematic. We're talking uh, 20 frames per second uh, video, but that's what it looks like. There's my neighborhood. My house and coming down, bringing it back down. Okay, let's see how it flies. We got a bit of a wind here, and I'm at high rate, and it's having a hard time fighting the wind. I gotta admit that. So let's try to fix that by landing it, and I'm gonna try to recalibrate its gyros. So hold on, put it on the ground. Okay, that's relatively flat, and I'm gonna move it down and to the right till we hear a beep. Okay, let's try that takeoff again. This time, automatic takeoff. And to do such, I'm gonna pull both sticks down and out, or down and in, down and in, and then press the automatic takeoff. And there we go. I'm still in high high rate. Let's see how it flies in high rate. Okay, let's try a flip. Right flip. Left flip. It does flips nicely. Okay, going into that wind again. That wind's picking up a bit, but okay, it can't really fight strong winds. Again, mentally meant for indoor flyers. A little bit dark here. Let's go over in my uh, grassy area here so it stays in the sunlight so you can see it. And I hope I don't hit the trees. But nice little drone. Hello up there. Not an outdoor flyer, I, I gotta admit that. And you know what, let me take off those, uh, I know why I'm having problems. Come back down here, we're gonna land it. Remember what I told you folks, when flying outdoors, take off the prop guards, and I'm going to do such. It doesn't take long to do it. They're held on in place by these little clips. Right there, let me get, get one of these little clips, make sure I'm pushing it the right direction, and you pull them right off, they just pop right off. Hear that wind, folks? It's got to fight that wind. I'm guessing that wind's about, oh, I don't know, close to 10 miles per hour. And I got a feeling this is not going to be able to fight that wind, even with the prop guards off. But we'll find out here shortly. Putting it back on the ground. And you know what? Let's do one of those manual takeoffs, or hand toss takeoffs. So ready, set, cool. <laughs> there we go. Prop guards are off. That helps quite a bit, actually. Because <laughs> prop guards act like sails in the wind, folks. They do. I strongly recommend when you're outdoors, take them off. And even with the prop guards off, I can't fight the wind. It's trying, it's trying. It's trying. So yeah, maybe mainly for indoor flights. <laughs> so. Show the neighborhood. And coming back down. Come back down here before you blow away entirely. Coming back down. Yeah, it's trying to fly away from me over there. Come back toward me. So no, not an outdoor flyer by any means. Um, it's just doesn't have the oomph to fight that wind. Okay, it's trying, but it, the wind, uh, you know, anything above five miles per hour, this is going to have a problem with, as you can see here. Other than that, nice little drone. <laughs> if there's no wind, it's probably a great outdoor flyer. But wind is a problem. Okay, back over into my grassy area. My place over here. So yeah, the idea coming outdoors mainly was to show you the camera. And the camera is actually not too bad, by the way. Coming down, getting in the sun a bit, and saying, how do you like the same shirt I'm wearing, folks? <laughs> so come overhead. Going that way, going that way, you're just going to crab around in the wind.
coming down low. We're going to stay low so we're out of the wind. The wind is pretty strong up, up above, so we're just going to do some flying around in my front lawn here. Seeing how this is, it is maneuverable, but again, can't fight the wind. Nice little drone. Now again, the main purpose of these toy drones, again, is for you to learn how to use these controls. That's it, <laughs> okay? And the camera is just a bonus, if they got a camera. And was that the flight time? It couldn't have been. Let's try that again. Let's try a toss again. Ready, set, toss. Whoop, that might have been the flight time, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can see that, the lights are flashing. So that is the flight time of this thing. So uh, outdoors, in the wind, fighting the wind. But all in all, you know, I think it's actually a nice little drone uh, to learn to fly with. See so in the picture, and it has a nice little camera. So hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks. Thank you.